Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about the canvas settings. So I have seen this question a lot on my comment section that is how can I get high quality art from Ibispent? Well, it's very much possible and let me tell you how. But before that, let me give you a very important information about image quality. It depends on the device and its compatibility with Ibispent X. Sure, it runs on Android and iOS devices, but I have seen and experienced that it works differently on different devices. My old tablet would always glitch whenever I tried to use this app and obviously the image quality turned out mediocre. It always glitched for some reason and it would start to lag if I use more layers. But for my phones, it was more or less smoother experience. The current device I'm using is my 6th gen iPad and it's the most seamless experience for me till that, no doubt. Now moving on to the main topic. So when you are adding a new canvas, make sure that you have chosen the HD settings, not the SD one. Both of the settings adapt to your device screen ratio, but the HD size will give you much better quality than SD. Important thing to note here that the HD size will differ from device to device depending on the size of the screen. But what if you want to work on a square canvas to post on your Instagram or a 16 is to 9 ratio canvas so you can post it on your YouTube? Let me tell you how. The square canvas is very easy to produce because the height and the width will be same. So I would suggest you to manually input the numbers and make sure the numbers are always above 1800. My default setting is 2100. Don't ask me why, I just like that number. I would also suggest you not to go further than 2500 because if you use more layers it might start to lag especially if your device is small or old for 16 is to 9 ratio you can always click on the default option but if you want a higher quality you can simply increase the numbers two times that is 2560 and 1440 this way the ratio will not change but the quality will definitely increase. You can also increase the resolution of SD size automatically with another trick. First, choose the SD canvas. Then click on this square looking icon aka the canvas option. Then choose the resize option. Click on it and add a random number that is more than the current one and it should change the other one automatically because the aspect ratio is same. You can either change the height or the width, the other one will change accordingly. From this canvas option, we have another way to increase the canvas size. So now we have to click on the change canvas size option. And then we can enter any random number and you can see the change in the canvas. So you see these arrow marks. If you click on the top arrow, it will increase only the bottom part. And similarly, 
if you just want to increase the bottom right side of your canvas, you click on the opposite arrows. So by this option, you can either change the canvas size as a whole or you can just change parts of the canvas as you wish. If you want, you can keep the aspect ratio on or if you don't want that, you can turn it off and enter any random number. The rest of the options are pretty simple. These options are to rotate the screen and this is to crop. And these are for flipping the canvas vertically or horizontally. I'm pretty sure you know how these functions work. Now time for the bonus information. If you want to print your digital works on a photographic paper or any paper you want, you have to note this point. That is the DPI or the dots per unit. The default DPI is 350 as you can see, but you can increase that so when you print it on a paper, it's less pixelated because the pixel size is much lower but the density will be higher so naturally your art would look much better on paper i really hope this informative video helped you learn how to improve the quality of your artwork just by changing the canvas size if you would like to see more of these informative videos about IB Spendex, let me know in the comments. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.